This is a great point, and honestly, there are a lot of marginalized identities that are still very much not addressed and not nearly addressed enough within the diversity, equity, and inclusion field, including size. Right now in the DEI field, the top three identity contenders, if you will, are race, gender, and sexual orientation. And then what I see from my vantage point in the DEI field is up and coming are disability and neurodiversity. And of course, I focus on Muslim and religious inclusion overall, which honestly is probably like the least popular, least talked about identity group I've ever seen. But there are so many other markers of identity that really do need to be addressed because the people who are marginalized because of those identities, literally just from existing, absolutely need to be included and need to be provided equitable environments where they can thrive just as much as people with more dominant identities. Some other identity groups that I really wish I saw more of would be uh, conversations around colorism, around immigration status or visa status. There are conversations that have been going on for a really long time around parenting and being a caretaker of children, but I only ever rarely see caretaking of elders being mentioned within that same sort of conversation. There are so many other marginalized identities that also are not getting the attention that they deserve. And honestly, if you are watching this and to this commenter as well, I really highly encourage you to get involved because there is so much need in this field for people to advocate for other identities. And there just simply aren't enough of us who are educated within the DEI field. And also, even if you are not a DEI practitioner or don't want to actively get involved with that work, you can do so much to support the work when you see people in your organization advocating for it, whether they're an internal employee or if you have a DEI team that you can help and support there, if you can get involved in an ERG, if you can encourage your organization to hire an external person to do trainings or consulting or strategy work or coaching for your executive team or whatever the case may be. There are really so many ways to get involved and I really, really do believe I am biased for sure. This work is so important.